We're on your dial in your kitchen, 94.1 FM. He's an emergency room doctor at Royal Inland Hospital in Kamloops, but he also has a second life. When he ends a shift, often after midnight, his mind still churns with people and stories and real-life emergency room drama. So he goes home and writes. His pen name is Hank Muni. He's asked us to keep his real name private. His genre is psychological thrillers. His latest self-published release is called Seesaw, and he joined us in studio. Good morning. Nice to have you in. Thank you. <laughs> this is a pretty decent-looking book. It's very polished. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, it was hard work. I'm pretty proud of it, so <laughs> it's what, been good. What, what made you, you are an emergency room physician at Royal Inland Hospital. What made you decide to write a, a mystery? Well, we only see fragments of people's lives. They come in when something happens to them or when they present to the emergency department having, say, the worst day or sometimes the best day, but most of the time the worst day of their life. And um, from my perspective, I always have that what if um, type of question in my head. So I only see people on a specific slice of their day or a specific slice of their life but then when they go out they've got a life out there and uh, when we see people at these sort of junctions of life quite often the question for me is you know where were they yesterday what were they thinking before the car crash what was going on in their life and um, and that questioning has brought me to multiple previous sort of thought processes where you think uh, well you know what if they did this or what if they did that or and then you get a lot of these little stories building up in your head and at some point you think oh well it'd be cool to actually write that down maybe I should write that and same with people we work with um, quite often you um, you see a doctor it comes up on the news something happens to the guy you know and then at that point, you think, what? Everybody says he's such a nice guy. They can't understand how this could happen and completely um, blindsided. He turns out to be a villain or something. A villain, yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of those things. I mean, we've had in our medical community many times where this happened, and it's usually it hits the papers because it's usually something um, that is very surprising. Like, he was such a nice guy, and then what? His wife was found in a suitcase next yeah. to the rail tracks, and this has really happened. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what? You know. And so those what-if questions just points towards the fact that many times we don't know the people we work with every day. We, we know them on that level. We know them on the level, um, even as friends, we know them on a level um, that they allow you to know them. Is this your first book? And this is my first book, yeah. And uh, when, we, as, a, an, as an emergency room physician, you're, you're a father of two. Uh, when do you have time to write? When do you squeeze it in? <laughs> I believe that the f fullness of life comes from sort of stacking is in as much as you can. And so to answer your question, it depends on when the, the ideas hit me. So for sometimes I would come back from a shift two o'clock in the morning, but I've had a great idea and I wouldn't, you know, go to bed. I'd write for two or three hours because I don't want to lose the idea. I've said to someone at some point that sometimes the ideas were like waking up from a dream and you've had this great dream and you wake up in the morning and you don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I hope I don't forget this dream and you're sort of grabbing onto it, just hoping that you're not going to lose it. So it's I've... interesting that it has the authenticity of having a, an emergency room physician writing, you know, <laughs> sort of real life scenes. Basically, it is, uh, and that was the question the editor asked. Like the first thing was, mm -hmm. <laughs> "Is this a is memoir? This really <laughs> yeah. Is this a memoir? Is this really fiction?" A lot of the things truly happened. Obviously, not with the characters in there, but many of the things um, uh, come from real life exposures, certain of the incidents and so on that I've experienced. Um, because you can't really take that um, reality away, and, and truth is stranger than fiction. Sometimes the um, the background um, of the things that we experience in the emergency department is shocking. And you have to, um, I think I've tried in a certain sense in CISO to bring people and give them a little bit of a sneak view of what happens in the emergency department. And also um, people have a certain idea of, of what it is to be an emergency physician or a nurse or what is involved there um, versus when you work in that environment, it's not 
the same. I think people's perce perceptions are um, are uh, sometimes distorted. The the level of abuse and tolerance that and intolerance that sort of um, happens there um, with the staff is sometimes disturbing. You know, we we live in a world where people come in, they're quite violent, and you as a nurse or a doctor. You can't respond to that. If somebody um, on the street walks into you and bumps you over, you have a certain public response, natural response. Is, hey, what are you doing? You can't do that to me. That's the normal, natural, cultural response. Versus in the emergency department, you have to always accommodate people and sometimes they're um, struggling with illness, struggling with psychological problems, struggling with the trauma of life so they're taking out those um, behaviors on the staff and the staff have to to some degree um, absorb that um, and I don't think people have that um, view sometimes from the outside world so I think that's what I enjoyed about the book it sort of gave me a opportunity to open up that window and uh, you've got to be stay friendly and you've got to stay happy but it doesn't mean you are happy <laughs> so um, can that, I give yeah. a copy away on the air yeah you're welcome oh good okay we'll do that thank you so much okay. for coming in thank Hank, you Hank Muni pen name for a real life emergency room doctor at Royal Inland Hospital uh, he's asked us to keep his real name uh, private his new book is a psychological thriller it's called Seesaw we have two copies to give away. If you want in on that draw, just send an email to camloops at cbc.ca.